Right size moon for stable orbit, one in a thousand. Magnetic field protecting our atmosphere, one in ten thousand. Combined probability, one in one billion. That seems pretty low odds, but when you consider the amount of planets that are predicted to be in the universe based on our observations, then possible living planets become far more common, even at one in a billion. Now, most scientists will agree the odds of life spontaneously forming are so small they're effectively zero. But here's what they don't tell you. Effectively zero times infinity equals anything. It means inevitable. Early Earth wasn't running on one experiment. It was running 10 to the 30 molecular experiments every second for a billion years. That's more trials than there are atoms in the observable universe. So imagine you're playing that poker game. But for this, you need 10,000 royal flushes in a row. Extraordinarily unlikely to ever happen. The odds are astronomically impossible. Yet, with enough cards being played simultaneously, over billions of years, the odds become far more inevitable, do they not?